Hey Kylo. Find some place my coffee will stand up. Hey buddy. Um, first off, let me say hi. <laughs> hi, y'all. Um, you know, if you guys have been following our page or channel uh, for a good while now, um, you know, it was almost three years ago exactly uh, that I wound up having to take Hamish up to the Virginia Tech School of Veterinary Medicine uh, so that they could treat him for lump jaw bony lump jaw uh, which is a potentially fatal disease in cattle um, you know what happens is they'll be eating, eating something and They'll get, you know, stuck in the cheek with uh, a thorn or a piece of metal or something like that. Uh, and the bacteria will get into their bloodstream. And the, the bony lump jaw bacteria uh, resides in the jaw, <laughs> you know, which is why it's called lump jaw. Uh, but it resides in the jaw and it, it, it starts eating away at the jaw uh, skeleton, uh, the bone, and it, it can change it and deform it and, and things like that. Um, if it's left untreated, uh, eventually the uh, cow, uh, either through pain or because the jaw has changed so much, uh, stops eating and they wind up, you know, starving to death, basically. Uh, and three years ago, uh, Hamish contracted it. Well, we tried treating him here, but, you know, I wasn't secure in the fact that, you know, we'd done everything that was possible. Uh, so I went ahead and uh, called the Virginia Tech School of Veterinary Medicine and talked to them and we wound up taking Hamish up there. Uh, unfortunately, bony lump jaw, the bacteria, lives in the, the jaw bone structure itself. Um, I mean, you can test for the bacteria in his bloodstream, but there could be some, you know, still lurking around in that bony tissue somewhere. So the only way to know 100% if, if you got it all is if they never get it again. Um, and unfortunately, I think he, I think he's got it again. So I called his doctor up at Tech last week. Uh, and unfortunately we're gonna we're gonna wind up taking Hamish back up to Virginia Tech again on Tuesday. Uh, you know Virginia Tech Veterinary School is about the only place nearby uh, that has the facilities and the ability to do what needs to be done to check him out, make sure everything's okay, um, and treat him if it's not. Uh, you know, my local vet just, just doesn't have the facilities or the uh, equipment, I guess, um, to check everything like we need. Um, and you know, it was almost three years, well, 
Today actually is the three year anniversary of me picking Hamish up from Tech the first time. So how's that for irony for you? Um, unfortunately, when we go to pick Hamish up, uh, whenever they're done with him, uh, we have to drop Kylo off. I had our local veterinarian out here a month or so ago um, checking on the goats. And I wanted her to look at Kylo because he's been moving, you know, kind of sluggish lately. You know, he wasn't his usual exuberant self. Um, so she came out and checked, checked on the goats and, and looked at Kylo. Um, and she said it was, you know, he was just kind of moving kind of slow because of arthritis. Um, well, between then and now, um, he's gotten really, really sluggish. Um, and, and, you know, I'm not a doctor and I hate to second guess her, but... You know, I got a feel in my heart that it's more than just a case of simple arthritis. Um, you know, unfortunately, Kylo had been born a runt. Um, and when you're born a runt, a lot of times you'll have uh, medical issues that a regular cow wouldn't have. Um, so that may be a contributing factor uh, at any rate uh, we are going to take Kylo up to the Virginia Tech School of Veterinary Medicine uh, and get him checked out and you know I'm sure they'll do x-rays and things like that and you know, hopefully it's something simple, you know, and we can get him back to his Dennis the Menace self. You know, I'm not real good at this. I'm really not. Um, I usually just leave it as a couple of links in the, you know, video description box where you can donate. Um, but right now I could really use y'all's help. Um, you know, a university uh, medical school, even, you know, even for veterinarians um, is not cheap. Uh, you know, our, our donations are way down, you know, last time we spent about three thousand uh, dollars treating Hamish, you know, once you included everything in it. Uh, and to be honest with you, I just don't have that kind of money. Um, the sanctuary doesn't have that kind of money. Uh, so, if any of you guys have been planning on making a donation, but you've kind of been putting it off and putting it off. Um, you know, to be honest, right now would be a really good time for you to go ahead and do it. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to run. I have no, you know, honestly, I have no idea. A lot of it is going to depend on how long each one of them is there, uh, what kind of treatment they're gonna get. Um, you know, the cost of the medications, and just the general care itself, you know. You know, this will be the first time we've, we've used the trailer that you guys helped us buy.
Um, we don't have anything to pull it with, but fortunately, um, one of my neighbors uh, has offered to drive us up there. I'm not sure what we're going to do about getting him back and getting Kylo up there, but, you know, at least for right now, we'll be able to get Hamish up there. We'll worry about the rest later. Whole wet snow too. All right, all right. No, that's it, buddy. Um. So again, you know, anything that you guys can do to help out, you know, I'd really appreciate it. You know, it hadn't been the best year so far anyway, and this is just going to make things a lot worse. Um, you know, I wish I had better news for you guys, but right now there's not a whole lot to tell anybody because, you know, we just don't know. That's, that's really the worst part, is just not knowing. Um, you know, we'll hope for the best. See what happens. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get back inside. My hands are freezing. So... All right, y'all. Oh, all right, buddy. That's it.